Last week, we started talking about my specific mixing and mastering process, and I kind of uh, hinted at today's episode talking about a specific type of frequency curve. Well, we're going to touch on that frequency curve today. What is it? Why do I like it? Why do I start there? All that and more on this episode of The Musicist. Hello and welcome to The Musicist. My name is Sage and today we're going to be talking about pink noise. What is pink noise and what does that have to do with mastering? Let's get into it. What is pink noise? Pink noise is similar to white noise, if you know what that is. White noise is all the audible frequencies for humans at the same volume per per frequency. So that's 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, all of those frequencies at the same volume. Pink noise is all the frequencies audible to the human ear, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, at the same volume per octave now what is what what is an octave in terms of frequency say we have a 440 an octave higher than 440 you would double it you would double the amount of frequencies so that would be 880 880 is an octave higher than a 440 basically what you're doing is you're doubling uh, a frequency is the number of oscillations per second so to get a an octave higher, you double the, n- the number of oscillations per second. A220 is an octave lower than A440. Here's the thing. With every octave that you go higher, you have more and more frequencies in that octave. So if you want to have the same volume per octave, you have to turn down every succeeding frequency uh in relation to the the last one now this is my left and my right so i'm going my left to my right so that's higher in the bass here and lower in the treble here that's what pink noise is what does it sound like pink noise sounds flat it sounds balanced Why? Because every octave is the same volume. So the bass bass octaves are as loud as the treble octaves. It's not the same with white noise. White noise is the bass octaves are quieter than the treble octaves because there are more uh, frequencies that accumulate to a louder octave the higher up you go so it sounds really bright and really uh harsh if you're not careful you have it up too loud is really harsh why because there's a lot more power or a lot more focus on higher frequencies pink noise is flat it sounds flat so why do i use that in my mastering why do i start there i want my mix i want my master to sound relatively balanced I don't want it to be like crazy bass heavy or crazy treble heavy I want it to sound relatively balanced now here's the tricky part because every genre has a different frequency response so like with hip-hop it is more bass heavy and less treble that's an intentional choice but if you have a whole bunch of bass frequencies and no treble frequencies because that's just how you mixed it and then you try and master it it's going to sound unbalanced so that's why i try to start balanced i want to start relatively near zero i don't i don't end up going all the way to zero because like like i said it has a lot more bass frequency like Every bass frequency is individually higher than every individual treble frequency because they're trying to balance out the octaves. Um, so in reality, I mix I, the end master is in between pink 
and white noise uh more closer to white noise um but you so basically it's a scaled down version of pink noise um and the reason for that is you don't want to overhype the bass and kill your high end it's not it's not pleasant sounding even though technically it's balanced it's not usually what you want to go for unless you specifically mix to have a flat mix the thing is if you have a flat mix it ends up sounding dead lifeless goes nowhere and then nobody can hear the bass and really people are there for the bass that that's what people want to hear when the bass drops i mean that, that's why an edm is called the drop because you literally add in all these bass elements there's a reason for that there's a reason for the strong presence of the 808 in in hip-hop or or trap music where you want people to dance there's a reason for that there's a reason why when you go to a concert and they have the kick drum and it hits you in the chest and you feel it in the chest and you're like whoo yeah now we're ready to go if you did the same thing with higher frequencies and you just like oh yeah we're gonna have a lift no nobody cares about that sidetracked my apologies so you you want to emphasize the bass but you don't want to overhype the bass at the expense of the high frequencies if you do nobody wants to hear your mix nobody wants to hear your song because all you're doing is hitting them with a bunch of bass and they don't understand the context there's no harmonic content which is a completely different topic of why you can't have a whole bunch of close harmonies low frequency clashing if you want to understand that adam neely on youtube has an excellent video about it he explains it way better than i ever could so if you want to know about that go watch him um i don't know the name of it but yeah just go find it just watch all of his videos they're great i love the guy he's an incredibly intelligent musician um so that so i i usually mix closer to white noise um with a little bit of emphasis on the lower frequencies and uh, turns turning down a little bit of the high frequencies because i want to control how much chaos is in my mix now sometimes um, especially as I was learning about this, I would make everything to pink noise, match the frequency response to pink noise, and then turn stuff down. That's one way you can go about it. So you go all the way to zero, and then you back it off until you are at the place you want to be. Now I just kind of mix to where I want to be with knowledge of what pink noise is supposed to sound like or what something balanced is supposed to sound like and so that's what pink noise is that's kind of what i was alluding to at the end of or kind of in the middle of the last episode don't know what i'm gonna be talking about next week but i will be back next week for another episode by the way i hope you guys had an amazing christmas i know i did put in a lot of work working on some new stuff for you guys so be on the lookout for that if you do follow me on social media you probably heard about my the the release of i'm yours um go check it out go stream it show it some love um it's a good song so if you i don't know maybe you want me want to hear me break down some uh what's it called If you want to hear me break down the song, why I wrote the song, what the lyrics mean, maybe, I don't know. Let me know. If not, I'll be back with another episode next week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.